There's something to be said for taking the time and the energy and putting in the love to make sure it's right. At the end of the day, it's about harmony and balance and really bringing the food and wine together. The interconnectedness between myself, the song, and whoever's in the room. It forms a union like, like nothing else I've ever experienced. Dollars and a number with no name. Number with no name. We are in Napa, California. Beautiful Napa, California. Today we're here to uh, really, truly show how music and wine and food can work harmoniously together. Matter of fact, if I had to choose one of the three, it wouldn't be food or music. I think those three things, they really appeal to our senses. Sight, smell, sound, taste, touch, it's all of them. About two, three weeks ago, Ben and I had a conversation about his loves and hates in food. There's a song which is called Number With No Name. And the opening lyric to that song goes something like, I'm being serenaded by a chorus of a thousand burning cigarettes. Serenaded by a chorus of a thousand burning cigarettes. And that really kind of set the mood for me with this menu. So what I've done is I've taken the entire menu along with the items that he really loved and tied those all together with a burn aspect in each one. So we do radishes with smoked butter. Okay. Kobe beef. But well, we're gonna have Kobe crudo. So it's uh, the top cap, sliced very thin like you would have sashimi. Mm -hmm. What we've done is we've made a charcoal out of cocoa nibs and onion to go with the chocolate persimmon. The fact that he could pull a line out of a song and have it influence his artistry is, uh, is incredible because I've often said the better the dinner, the better the show. So it's the first time I've heard it in reverse where music can then influence uh, another art in, in that way, especially food, that's, real, that's hip. Chris's approach is really, he's all about bold flavors and he, he's very experimental. He uses all parts of the animal. I really like his approach. Uh, so to pair with that, we really wanted to look for flavors that would complement the flavors he's bringing out in the food. And this is really bringing out some of our boldest wines or wines that have an attribute that's gonna complement some of the flavors that are in, in his dishes. So right. what's your plan tonight? What are you playing? Well, you know what we're playing. What are you playing? People say, oh, you know, when you got into music, you know, what did you want to, what did you want to do? What did you want to set out to do? I tell people my, my main objective, the ultimate symbol and sign of succeeding in music when I got started was just to not starve to death. And so this is like the ultimate representation of having that wow. as like the foundation of, you know, accomplishment in music. Number with no name, I, I don't know, it's just, a, it's kind of just a, you know, I'd been wanting to make that statement for a long time in that song and could never find a way to it. It kind of opened up a door for me songwriting wise that, that uh, introduced me to another dialogue and another language as far as writing goes. Ben is just such a fantastic artist and just the simplicity but complexity. You can think of musical notes or grapes, both being raw materials to work with. And then how you put them together is really the expression of the artist. In a meal, you never want the meal to be da, 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 da. Nobody wants to listen to music like that, nor does anybody want to eat food that's dull. It's boring, it's flat. You want da, 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 da. And it, it, it's heightening. You have ups, highs, and lows, and peaks. And whether it's food or music, it keeps you entertained. Roasted, then charred with telagio, a little bit of micro bee greens, and we've made hazelnut snow. Serenaded by a chorus of a thousand burning cigarettes. Some of our most memorable experiences are when food, wine, and music work together, and they really frame many of the most important experiences we've had. It's a lot of fun, it's a little bit challenging but um, it should be a good time, and I hope that um, Ben gets all those flavors and tastes that he really, truly remembers. At this point, I'm looking to do things different in a different way and stretch out and 
take chances. I mean, this isn't a, this isn't a usual setting for, for me. I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm really glad to, glad to be here. This is something different, you know? Thank you.